Republicans, meanwhile, are in the middle of what is certain to be a temporary fit of racial hypersensitivity. Senator John Cornyn of Texas said that Senator Reid should step down, calling his comments embarrassing and racially insensitive. GOP Chairman Michael Steele accused the Democrats of a double standard because of what Majority Leader Trent Lott said in December 2002 at Senator Strom Thurmond's 100th birthday party. You will recall that Senator Thurmond ran for the presidency as the segregationist candidate on a segregationist platform back in 1948. Let's listen to exactly what Senator Lott of Mississippi had to say about that election. I want to say this about my state. When Strom Thurmond ran for president, we voted for him. <laughs> We're proud of it. And if the rest of the country had followed our lead, we wouldn't have had all these problems over all these years either. Problems indeed. Problems such as having to watch Jackie Robinson play Major League Baseball. Problems like having to enforce Brown versus the Board of Education, or the Civil Rights Act, or the Voting Rights Act. The Republicans want you to believe that wishing a segregationist candidate had been elected president is just as bad as using a poor choice of words when supporting supporting a black candidate in the early stages of his campaign to become the nation's first African-American president. Most of the relentlessly stupid media echo chamber fails to see the utter lack of comparability in the concepts or the sentiments contained in the two senators' statements. Senator Reid issued another apology this afternoon from Nevada. Senator Reid recalled the day he told Barack Obama he thought he would win the White House. I am very proud of the fact I can still remember the meeting that took place in my office with Senator Barack Obama telling him that I think you can be elected president. And uh, I'm sure there were others, but he was kind of surprised that uh, the Democratic leader was calling this new senator over to suggest that he could be elected president.